Hello everyone. So personality disorder, you need to know certain things. It is a very interesting topic. So first of all, if I tell you types, personality disorder is of certain three types. Now every person in this world, they have their own personality. You have seen your father growing up, you have seen your mother uh, like so. Uh, uh, the personality it depends on person to person but when it's more than like a certain level then we call it disorder now personality disorder or the personality depends on few aspects like uh, one of them is the parents personality the second thing that is important is if there is any history of childhood habits how's the childhood so which is very very important and if we talk about the types there are three types so among these three types, type A, type B, and type C. I'm going to discuss about all this. Now, paranoid personality, this type of people, they are this category of people, they always suspect. And you don't have to go that far. If you see some of the, you know, drama series, some of the Indian drama series, if you see some of the country's drama series, if you see like, there are like, you know, certain type of people, whatever things are happening, you know, they just keep suspecting actually. Even I can tell you, you know, I know a person, you know, who was my neighbor and you know that person was always suspecting actually for any issues actually. So when you take history, you will find they are alone and they have this kind of history with others actually. So this is not a schizophrenia because if it is schizophrenia, there has to be certain other symptoms. Okay, like that's much bigger when it's schizophrenia. So schizophrenia has like you know delusion there's like you know hallucination and there's like certain other type of feature like first ram and second ram symptom we usually tell so those symptoms will not be present all right so like the first you know one in the personality is paranoid personality and the paranoid personality they always suspect they live alone and uh, they will have certain history now the next one is a schizoid type of personality and in case of schizoid type of personality it's also very interesting. These are the people like you know who likes to live alone and the very important point to be noted you know they don't have interest in the outside world. Like there are two type of people like one is avoidant type of personality which we will talk about soon. So the avoidant type of personality they have some outside interest like but they're mostly shy. But schizoid type of personality neither they have any interest in outside neither like they want to go outside and they try to avoid everything actually so um, and this kind of you know people actually when they see the other people they you know kept themselves from going there actually so this is very common in this kind of category so they are the people uh, like they like to run away from people actually and they don't have any outside interest type of personality is even more interesting so this type of personality you know if you have seen a lot of movies like with you know black magic and uh, those kind of thing this type of people also exist in this world actually we're not sure they actually have power or not but you know they're like you know people like gypsy and which you can see in the pictures like gypsy black magic like you know Aladdin, chirag like this kind of thing so they usually you know claim that they have some you know interesting kind of power so you know these are the personality type of people they are called schizotypal actually so by the picture i think already you guessed it you know what type of personality they have uh, we call it in medical term peculiar personality they you know also wear you know kind of very interesting or uh, very different kind of dress up and you know usually people uh, ran away when they saw this kind of you know personality so there's a big difference with the schizoid and the schizotypal uh, the schizotypal uh, personality when they saw people uh, they usually uh, ran away but uh, when people saw schizotypal they usually ran away so it's like kind of like opposite actually i hope so this particular explanation will help all of you uh, you can understand from the picture what i'm going to tell now uh, the next one is coming is a histrionic personality. Now, histrionic personality is uh, most cases it's woman and uh, it's a very popular word like you know seductive and trying to be over friendly. Uh, maybe um, to get the job like sometime they also do this kind of thing. But you know uh, since we are talking about the personality, so most cases the personality is kind of similar. They are always over friendly. They are always like um, try to get 
their work you know by their gesture or the personality actually i'm i'm already have uh, i'm you know uploaded some of the picture if you can see so one of the picture you can see like you know uh, like it's, it's over friendly actually maybe trying to get the attention from the boss and when you take the history they're always like that even with other colleagues they're always like that maybe you have seen in movies and another one i just put a picture of um, like you know one of them i think actress or i don't know actress or not like you know rakhi sawant like uh, those know i think from this subcontinent countries like in you know, always try to get the attention so these people are attention seeker and to get the attention they might be uh, over friendly overexposed so this kind of thing so this is not uncommon thing you will find this kind of personality everywhere actually so i hope so this helps uh, the next one is coming up also more interesting next one is uh, very interesting and a lot common nowadays like borderline personality because you are not that successful you always put some blame on others and this is a sign of borderline personality you don't have to that go that far you will find a friend a family member like you know putting finger on each other okay so this kind of people like wherever you know they will go they try to find out some kind of mistakes on others so this is very common in them so this is called borderline personality disorder and or borderline personality a very common word in medical term we call it splitting like example like uh, they will try to make you feel very bad wherever they will go uh, say if it's a uh, invitation a lot of people are gathering and usually what we do like even the food is good and not good we don't criticize in front of everyone or this kind of people like whenever go maybe when there is 10 dishes and just maybe one was not a little salt is like they will tell in front of everyone all oh, this one is having less salt like this so this is called borderline personality actually okay so wherever they will go like example like you know especially you will find more this kind of thing in case of cough in case of the marriage programs like you know there are some people some aunties can always come and they try to figure out the problem oh like you know this uh, gift they have given i think it's not standard uh, the girl like you know it's not standard oh like you know that girl is having short hair like so this is like borderline surely this is borderline okay so you know we should always appreciate like you know like uh, others like you know that should be our motto that should be uh, that should be done actually my father uh, he, he uh, told me sometime uh, that you know nowadays the people are changing a lot there was a day people used to help uh, each other a lot but nowadays you know it's like you know it's mostly people are like they're just thinking of themselves so some of the personalities are changing actually so this is a little bit about the borderline personality uh, I hope uh, in coming generation this certain situation will change we'll think more about the mankind and other people all right and you know make this world a much better place the next one is a antisocial personality disorder. Why I did that gesture is because uh, there's a reason. And from the picture, maybe already you were getting like these people. Antisocial does, mm, always doesn't mean that, you know, they just uh, like, you know, kept themselves in room. And this antisocial means like, you know, antisocial acts are involved here. When you check their past history, you will find they are defaulters, like the school truancy, they don't go to school, and the criminal record in past. So these are the antisocial type of personality, and you know they become like example mafia don or this kind of thing, and they have a lot of um, criminal history at the same time. So this is about antisocial personality. The next one is very interesting. Uh, it's called narcissistic personality. So you don't have to go that far. Narcissistic personality is everywhere. Uh, maybe they don't um, assume at that position, but they think like they are something so big. Even though they have assumed a position, uh, they should not behave like that. They are too big, actually. So one of the very common example people give is, you know, the Donald Trump, the president. Uh, it's because, you know, one of the reason he is like, he's like, bit arrogant and you know always he thinks what he's doing he's right he's crazy so so these are the per certain thing is uh, present in narcissistic personality disorder nowadays you will also find few people like you know especially in the social media you'll see uh, they just you know make videos and a lot of things and they 
think that they're too big uh, for mankind and you know for other people they're not doing you know things so effective so that's also an example of narcissistic personality actually so thank you and you know check the type c personality which is coming up now this is very interesting and you know if you remember the schizoid it will be very easy for you to also understand the avoidant the avoidant personality you see from the picture they are uh, shy but they want to participate so this type of people are everywhere actually like you know you might have uh, some problem in talking socially so this is also kind of avoidant like uh, which you want to do but you know because of shyness if you can't do so this is surely an avoidant personality in case of you know the schizoid one you know uh, they, they are shy and they avoid people but at the same time they also don't have any kind of interest so this is the biggest difference from schizoid and the avoidant actually this will help i hope so next one this is you know the type c personality and unfortunately it is uh, exist in a lot amount everywhere like that's called dependent personality and you will find uh, especially in subcontinent countries and in many places elderly those are depending on kids uh, a wife who is depending on uh, husband so many time it happened like there could be certain reason and you know they don't express that one it's because like they are dependent actually this should not happen nowadays like the there is women empowerment uh, they're doing a lot of you know job and everywhere there's uh, equal rights so you know this is a certain kind of dependent personality so sometime um, even a husband uh, beats um, his wife the wife does not complain even they go to police station or even they go to hospital the doctor find out when we ask them like they don't want to you know put the complaint actually so this kind of you know example are like dependent kind of personality we expect um, this is the generation of you know female uh, empowerment I think they will you know uh, they are already working equally and I think um, and some are even working far ahead so we appreciate that so and uh, there's no need to be dependent if this kind of thing ever happen with you like you know uh, someone is beating you someone is torturing you or if an elderly person uh, the uh, son or the daughter anyone the like, humiliating so these are the example of um, uh, dependent personality but you should raise your voice always so i hope so this example will help you so uh, the last one in type c personality is obsessive compulsive personality disorder now obsessive compulsive disorder is a different one you might be heard about uh, like you know commonly hand washing or over checking like you know everything that you know is this is it closed you forget to lock the door like two times three times many times they check so those are example of obsessive compulsive disorder but this is obsessive compulsive personality disorder this type of people like one thing they want to be a perfectionist so i put an example of one of very uh, famous actor uh, amir khan as you can see that you know uh, i found like you know his works are tremendously good and most of the time he came up with the perfect type of work or perfect type of movies so but thing is this type of personality when the works are not absolutely perfect they start feeling depression actually so uh, I feel it's okay to have obsessive compulsive personality if we make our work so perfect so someday uh, we will be really successful actually so this type of personality is good actually make sure you know you don't have the much of it actually but uh, the certain criteria of obsessive composite personality we all need actually so i hope so this full session helps with the personality disorder and if you like this video uh, don't forget to comment on the section and uh, this is dr sharier uh, from sydney uh, and uh, have a great day uh, bye bye